Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you, how to change the color of any object, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'll show you the easiest way to change the color. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Toko Graphics Pack. In this pack, you'll get 2000 plus ready for use graphics elements. Typography, infographics, devices, backgrounds, social media, transitions, shape lines, lower thirds, kinetic titles, gradients, callouts, logo reveals, glitch elements, glitch overlays, interface items, big titles, and much more. You can add this effect with one click. Inside this pack, select an element, then just click on apply. And it's pretty easy to edit. Also, you can resize all the elements with your custom size. And easily control the duration. You'll get this pack under the description link, and you'll get 80 free Margaret files. So first place your footage on the timeline. Then open the Lumetri Color tab. Inside the Lumetri Color, open HSL Secondary. Select the Color Picker tool. Then select the color you want to change. And here I'm going to change the dress color. Then click on the color gray checkbox, so now I can properly mask this color. Then again select the color picker, and select the red color, where it's not selecting. And I think it's close enough. Now adjust it a little bit with HSL selection. So first H means hue. You drag it left and right to adjust the hue. The second one is S means saturation and the top arrow is increasing or decreasing the red color saturation and the bottom arrow is the amount of the feather and the last one is L, which stands for luminosity or lighting so all the properties depend on your object so play around with the selector, until the complete object is colored, and all the rest is gray and I think it's perfect for me now refine the selection with a bit of blur and it actually feathers the selection, and makes it more smooth. And lastly, choose any color of the color wheel. Now uncheck the color gray box. Scroll down a little bit. And here you can adjust the color temperature, tint, contrast, and saturation. Also if you like, you can brighter or darker the color. So that's it. And it was our before and after. Let's see the final preview. So that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.